But that, then, there, the, the, but going back to what Neil just said, mm -hmm. there are people who actually suffer from personality disorders mm -hmm. that yeah. suffer from brain disorders in, in day, where they can't do what you just said. They right. can't and, express and, compassion. Chuck, they can't so move there towards was a the day when no one even right. thought to analyze it that way right. as, a, as a brain disorder. Yeah, you were Correct. just an a-hole. Yeah, exactly. That right. was it. Now, right. if they can't, you can. You can show that person compassion or understanding. So if, and therefore, free will as an entity exists. Charles, you're drawing a if, line even that, that I have seen be in constant motion over the decades and over the centuries. That line that you're saying, they don't have free will, but I do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I don't know that I can... See, I have free will over some things and not over others. Okay. Someone can see me and say, ah, that person needs help in this way and has the free will to help me. I see somebody else who needs this help and free will. Together, it is a network. It's not that any individual... So you, you have to draw to the, the line for every individual and even perhaps for society. Okay. Does the criminal who's born in poverty mm -hmm. have free will to not be a criminal? If most of the people in prison came in below the poverty line. Great so question. there's some sociological force right. operating there so this that, is, that where we are less susceptible to that force. I think that's a great question, analogy. Let's say this. Say those folks who have been branded criminals by our society are incarcerated. Yes. We can then, who were fortunate enough not to face those same circumstances, who are not incarcerated, can look at these incarcerated people and instead of saying we must keep them away from society, welcome them back.